Hi, my name is Ali, and this is the visual supplementary material for my thesis. This is the game world that the agent navigates, and the purple agent is the player. The blue line denotes its direction, and I'm controlling it right now, jumping from cell center to cell center. And if I go out of bounds, I respawn at a random cell with negative reward. And if I go to the portal, I respawn again in a random cell with positive reward. So this is the problem. Um, the agents have a visual sensor uh, done by raycasting the environment, as you can see on top of the agent icon. It's updated in real time. There's a Warnoid diagram underneath the terrain, and if you uh, Modify the height values of the Warnoid diagram, you get a sculpted terrain, and the visual sensor of the agent shows the elevation and the landscape in general, updated in real time. So let's flatten the terrain and uh, jump to the non player character. Yes, so this is its uh, visual sensor and now we're going to check out the architecture visualization of the agent um, so this is the user interface for it and I'm going to start learning now yes so the learning has started and I'm going to switch to a preferred coloring scheme yes yeah, so uh, this is the real-time visualization of the agents learning at, uh, at the left side you can see what the agent is doing in a game world uh, right now it's acting quite random uh, it's most of the time fails by going out, out of bounds uh, sometimes it finds the portal but it's pretty rare so it's just random movement at this point because it didn't learn anything so at the right side you can see the pleasure graph of the agent the upper values denote positive rewards and lower values denote negative rewards and uh, the one below that denotes the average reward so we can visualize the synapses too these are proximal synapses and on top of the distal synapses we can do them separately and these are epical if we open them all these are the uh, the synapses that lead to activity in the architecture and these are visualized in real time so we can stop at any point and uh, iterate frame by frame and now I'm going to load a, a previously learned architecture that produces a lot of voluntary behavior navigating to the portal. So this synaptic connectome has produces a lot of voluntary behavior denoted by these neurons. And uh, if you look at the pleasure graph, there are a lot of positive rewards with uh, way fewer negative rewards so we can stop at any time and iterate frame by frame again uh, I'm going to disable the synapses right now and I'm going to pick a mini column to visualize its data um, from, from L3 actually and on this mini column I'm going to pick a neuron and visualize its distal segments uh, there are 34 distal segments for this neuron and uh, we can visualize their synapses with their permanences or uh, we can pick a mini column from layer 5 and show its proximal targets that it propagates to for example this one um, yeah, the proximal targets that it propagates to uh, are uh, layers D1 and D2. And we can switch the mini column and still see their proximal targets. So uh, the, the architecture has different coloring schemes to communicate different uh, information about the uh, HTM layers. As you can see, there are a lot. Um, I'm going to pick the default one, yes. So as you can see at the pleasure graph, 
uh, the average award is almost 0.1, which is quite high. And if we look at the game world, and if we stop and iterate frame by frame, you can see what the agent is doing. Most of the time, it navigates to the portal. I'm going to disable the ray casting rays for a clearer view. As you can see, it most of the time finds the portal pretty quickly. Um, uh, on this sequence, though, uh, it traverses the area, circumvents the area, and then navigates to the portal, which is a pretty long sequence, actually, but still it finds the portal. And sometimes it fails, too, but uh, they, are f uh, they are way, way far and few in between. So we can do the same thing uh, at the user interface by looking at the uh, uh, visual center at the bottom. So uh, agent turns left and stays and goes to the portal there. And it respawns in a random cell, turns right, stays right, right, and then goes to the portal again. So yes, um, this, is, this is how the learning works. And uh, thank you for listening.